Hello viewers, I'm your host Shivangi Mishra with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show. Be it the Commonwealth Games, the Asian Games or the Olympics, India's athletes are increasingly reaching a podium finish on the global stage. The country has even invested hugely in developing sports infrastructure including world-class stadiums. Does India have the prospective to host the 2036 Olympic or Paralympic Games? Let's find out. Indian athletes gave their best ever performance at the recently concluded 2023 Asian Games in China's Hangzhou city. They won 107 medals and finished fourth in the medal count. This was India's best ever performance at the Asian Games. The credit goes to the proactive efforts by the government in providing better facilities, training and motivation to its athletes. India is now interested in hosting the Olympic Games in 2036. Prime Minister Narendra Modi revealed this at the opening ceremony of the International Olympic Committee session in Mumbai. The country has never hosted the Olympics before, but in 2010, Delhi hosted the Commonwealth Games. Bharat apni dharti par Olympics ka aayojan karne ke liye bahut utsahit hai. Saal 2036 mein Bharat mein Olympics ka safal aayojan ho. इसके लिए भारत अपने प्रयासों में कोई कमी नहीं रखेगा ये 140 करोड़ भारतीयों का बरसों पुराना सपना है उनकी आकांक्षा है इस सपने को अब हम आप सबके सहयोग से पूरा करना चाहते हैं और 2036 ओलंपिक से भी पहले भारत साल 2029 में होने जा रहे यूथ ओलंपिक्स की मेजबानी करने को भी इच्छुक है India has been participating in the Olympic Games for over a century. At present, the country ranks at 56th position with a total of 35 medals. At the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, Indian athletes gave their best performance by winning a total of 7 medals. The International Olympic Committee President Thomas Beck believes that young people in India are driving the interest in the Olympic movement in the country. India has the second largest number of followers on the Olympic social media channels. We could really uh, see and realize that the uh, Olympic uh, spirit in uh, India is uh, waking up, is, uh, is uh, growing. We have seen uh, the, the very positive uh, results of the Indian team at the Asian Games uh, in Hangzhou with a, uh, a record uh, number of uh, medals uh, they, they won. So very encouraging. Uh, we can uh, see at our Olympic social uh, media uh, that in the meantime uh, India uh, is uh, the number two in uh, the followers of uh, the Olympic social media handles. Uh, this shows uh, the great interest, in particular, the young generation uh, in uh, India has in uh, the uh, Olympic uh, movement. India is fast developing sports infrastructure, including world-class stadiums, which are ready to host various sports events, promoting sports culture, and attracting both domestic and international competitions. 
The country has also developed sports infrastructure in remote areas and promoted budding players through its Khelo India program. If India gets a nod to host the Olympic Games in 2036, the sports in the country will get a new facelift. Let's move to Afghanistan, which continues to face frequent earthquakes, leaving thousands of its civilians without shelter, food and medical health care. The latest 6.3 magnitude earthquake struck areas northeast of the Herat city. The Taliban-ruled country, which has been facing international sanctions, is finding it difficult to handle the situation. We have this report. Gathering the remains from their ruined houses, these Afghans have lost all hope as they have faced continuous earthquake jolts over the past few days. They have not received any rescue help from the Taliban government and they are digging through debris with their bare hands in a desperate attempt to reach loved ones trapped beneath collapsed homes. A powerful 6.5 magnitude earthquake struck the Herat province on October 15, making it the fourth to hit the impoverished region within a week. It causes more suffering for families left with little to survive on as the hard winter approaches. <laughs> مادرمی بچه هم اینجا گفتاده بود کل خوابالی بفتاده بود خوشلوچی از یه هم خوده ای بوده که پای شکسته مادر از این که شهید شد برا It is estimated that over 2,000 people were killed and thousands got injuries in a series of earthquakes and aftershocks The United Nations under its World Food Program is providing emergency food assistance to the affected communities the World Food Programme said that their volunteers are on the ground and are assisting more than 33,000 people, but funds are stretched thin. They are gently demanding funds to continue support for affected earthquake families in Afghanistan. I would like to highlight that the needs and response components and financial requirements outlined in it will be absorbed in our 2023 humanitarian response plan for Afghanistan, which uh, at this stage is already hugely underfunded. We have a gap of $2.2 billion, and that has, of course, critical implications on the humanitarian situation in Afghanistan. Afghanistan has already been reeling from the effects of years of conflict, insecurity, and climate-induced disasters. The series of earthquakes that have jolted the country has shaken the Afghan civilians. Nepal's newly inaugurated Pokhara International Airport, built with Chinese help, is shaping up to be an economic albatross and has saddled Kathmandu with debt to creditors in Beijing for years to come. A New York Times report released earlier this week exposed the wrongdoings, highlighting that Beijing, since its inauguration, began declaring that the airport had been a part of its Belt and Road Initiative, which Nepal has rejected. We have this report. Nepal's newly inaugurated Pokhara International Airport, built with Chinese aid, has come under scrutiny now, after an explosive investigation report by the New York Times. Concerns have been expressed pertaining to the caliber of the work, the abuse of monitoring and the financial burden on Nepal resulting from the construction of the Pokhara Airport, which was mostly funded and carried out by Chinese businesses. The much-hyped airport hasn't seen any frequent international flights except for the chartered Chinese flights. 
Moreover, the airport's association with China's Belt and Road Initiative has ignited diplomatic tensions with India, making it challenging for the airport to attract international flights. It is thought to be an instance of Chinese debt trap diplomacy. Up to now, the situations are uh, situation are analogous, more or less same. So what? Uh, let's pray. Our government will take firm action not to make it a heaven to of Nepal. Pokhara Airport serves as a stark example of pitfalls associated with importing China's infrastructure development model. The project was contracted by China CAMC Engineering, which consistently dictated terms to maximize profits and protect its interests. Dubbed a dream come true for locals, the Pokhara International Airport upon its completion has been claimed to be a part of China's grand ambitions, aligning with President Xi Jinping's signature infrastructure campaign, the Belt and Road Initiative. The international community and uh, basically the multilateral agency, which are uh, our development partners, are eyeing on this uh, particular project and the uh, outcome of the project uh, are not that much uh, welcomed by our development partners as well uh, by the analyst of Nepal and uh, from the economic expert as well. So overall the impact uh, of this particular airport in the international community related uh, to Nepal is not that much. Uh, the positive up to now. As Pokhara Airport struggled to attract international flights, especially from India, Nepal's aspirations for airport were put in jeopardy. The best way to get it of this uh, trap is to uh, monetize the assets and whatever the sum will come from the uh, asset monetizations, rest part of the debt uh, to be kept under viability gap funding and all the loan to be paid in single shot. Otherwise, even, even if it is an uh, interest-free loan, it is going to be the big uh, debt trap because uh, the country has to pay at least 5% uh, for the exchange rate fluctuation. So, in, even in 0% interest, the overall impact will be at least 5%. China is trying to push investments in Nepal to counter Indian influence in the Himalayan nation. The Prime Minister of Nepal, Pushpa Kamal Dahal, recently visited Beijing and signed 12 agreements including 7 MOUs to enhance bilateral cooperation in sectors including trade, road connectivity and information technology. The costly projects by China like the construction of Pokhara Airport has raised concerns of the Himalayan nation falling into Chinese debt trap diplomacy. Several countries including Pakistan, Kenya, Zambia, Laos and Mongolia have already faced economic instability and even collapsed under the weight of hundreds of billions of dollars in foreign loans, much of them from China. Time now for Asia This Week, the stories from across the continent. Japanese company Entity Communications recently organized the DX Theme Park Business Forum in Tokyo. It displays cutting-edge IoT, 5G, robot and AI avatar technology. These cutting-edge technologies portend a radical change in social life in the future. President of Entity Communications, Toru Marukua, declared connect each business. Uh, 
、今後そこをあのデモの中に組み込んでいきたいと思ってます。例えばあの困ってる人に対してどういう言葉で返したらいいんだろうとか、あの急いでる人にどういう言葉でどれぐらいのあの言葉で返したらいいんだろうみたいなところをですね、そこをうまく生成 AI を活用することで、えー、あの状況に合わせた応対を自動で生成できるというところで生成 AI の価値もあの発揮されると思いますし、よりこのシステムとしての価値も高まると考えています。It goes beyond just talking like an avatar. It takes into account the emotions of the client, recognizes the customer's fundamental needs, and prepares generation AI. By using cutting edge technologies, entity communications will create a social life for the future that is unparalleled. It will be a secure and comfortable environment for everyone. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government organized blogging, which means picking up trash and run, as one of its environmental education events in Tokyo. Campaigns like Clean Tokyo, Clean Japan, and Garbage Pickup by Audiences in sports stadiums are very popular around the world. Regular environmental education events are held by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. The blogging event was also held on this day. Blogging and jog. Was held in October around Tokyo's Sumida River. Participants in this activity shared a sense of family and the value of giving back to the community. Blogging is walking around and picking up trash. Fitness. Fitness, to say, is a very wide concept. It means that in the morning, you can do a lot of walking and running from the morning to the evening. It can be done in a variety of ways. It can be done in a variety of ways. プロギングのベースになっていてでみんなでいつの間にか街がきれいになっているそんな活動がプロギングとなっています Tokyo Metropolitan Government held a blogging event to realize the cleanest Tokyo During the event, a total of nine citizens participated including children Collected garbage is divided into inflammable and non-inflammable materials It is made a reality by citizens impulsive social interaction A healthy dose of fun and community service is quite beneficial in fostering to create clean and comfortable society. People in South Korea prayed and held a rally in Seoul to show solidarity with Israel following a devastating attack by Hamas. About 200 people, including some Israeli residents living in Seoul, were seen waving flags and chanting slogans supporting Israel and condemning Hamas. Some Israeli tourists who couldn't return home due to flight cancellations also joined the rally. Israel has vowed to annihilate the Hamas movement that rules Gaza after Hamas fighters burst across a barrier to Israel on October 7. Gunning down 1,300 Israelis, mainly civilians, in the deadliest day in Israel's 75-year-old history, Israel has put Gaza, home to 2.3 million Palestinians, under a total blockade and pounded it with unprecedented air strikes, and is widely expected to launch a ground assault. Gaza authorities say at least 2,800 people have been killed there, around a quarter of them children. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol pledged to boost the defense history as a key part of national security strategy, addressing the opening of the country's largest ever defense exhibition. Overwhelming capabilities of the South Korea-U.S. alliance are on display at the event, Yoon said at the Baniel Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition (ADEX), noting U.S. military hardware. A rare flyover by a U.S. nuclear-capable B-52 strategic bomber. Was showcased during the opening ceremony held at Seoul Airport in Seongam, South Korea. Pyongyang has repeatedly criticized the United States over the deployment of strategic assets in the region, including the recent arrival of a U.S. aircraft carrier, calling it a provocation. Ram Leela. A dramatic folk enactment of the Hindu epic Ramayan is deeply rooted in India's rich culture and belief system. The traditional drama is played as part of the Hindu festival Durga Puja.
which celebrates the victory of good over evil. As the festival arrives, drama artists across Indian states are pouring their hearts and souls, regardless of their belief systems, to make the festivity grand. Let's have a look. A photo, not a wish. Ram Leela, a traditional performance based upon the epic story of Lord Ram, popularly known as Ramayan, is performed all across northern India during the Dashera festival. Ram Leela, as the name suggests, depicts the mythological story of Lord Ram winning over the demon king Ravan in a bid to rescue his beloved wife Sita. Today, the art form is recognized not only in India but throughout the world. The popularity of this art form can easily be recognized as people from different communities and religious groups come forward enthusiastically to participate in enacting various characters during the play. As the Dashera festival approaches, enthusiastic drama artists as well as well-known television stars are all busy preparing and rehearsing for their performances in a bid to make Ram Leela grand and spectacular. एक बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी होती है आपके ऊपर अगर आप ऐसे किरदार जब आप निभाते हैं और लाइक ऐसा लगता है कि पूरे ब्रह्मांड का जो भार है वो आप ही के कंधों पर है क्योंकि जिस समय लाइव आपको बहुत सारा ऑडियंस देखने आता है हालांकि इसका लाइव टेलीकास्ट भी होगा लेकिन जो लाइव लोग देखने आते हैं वो उस समय गगन को नहीं देखते उस समय प्रभु राम को ही देखते हैं तो जब भगवान को वो देख रहे हैं तो मैं नहीं समझता वो चाहेंगे कि भगवान कोई गलती करें किसी भी रूप में the 10 day traditional drama ram leela is a part of the durga puja festival which celebrates the nine feminine avatars of shakti or goddess durga the artists during the play narrate and recite songs dialogues and poems on the platform while bringing the population together regardless of caste and religion the play also symbolizes the victory of good over evil as Lord Ram kills the demon king Ravan on the 10th day. Over several locations, processions were taken out as a part of the traditional drama Ram Leela, drawing a large number of devotees who took to the streets to welcome the event. Mathura Ram Leela Sava ke tatwadhan mein aaz Ram Leela सभा की तरफ से राम बरात निकल रही है जो जिसमें हमारी इकहत्तर झांकियां हैं सात बैंड बाजे हैं चार अखाड़े हैं भिन्न भिन्न तरीके की और बहुत सी आतिशबाजी वगैरह सब चल रही है साथ में घोड़े हाथी सब साथ चल रहे हैं राम जी की बरात वहाँ पर निकल रही है मथुरा की खासियत है कि एक साल पुरानी वन एट सेवन साल पुरानी ये हमारी रामलीला है जो मथुरा की सिद्ध रामलीला है the tradition of Ram Leela is believed to have originated around the 16th century during the time of the Bhakti movement. Tulsi Das, a popular poet who wrote the Hindi version of the Ramayan called the Ram Charit Manas, is considered one who fanned the tradition of Ram Leela to spread the teachings of Ramayan to the common people. बेहद खुशी की बात है कि सालों साल मुझे यहाँ अयोध्या आने का मौका मिलता है पहले तो सीता मैया का किरदार निभाया था फिर माँ शबरी का और इस बार वेदमती का तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि हर साल रामलला के दर्शन करने को मिलते हैं The Ramayan is a timeless epic that has inspired people worldwide while teaching about the importance of dharma love devotion perseverance compassion and forgiveness meanwhile ram leela while keeping the essence of ram and ramayan continues to guide humankind towards the right path people can learn from the ramayan to live better and more meaningful lives India is an incredibly diverse country and festivals are a significant part of Indian culture. 
With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care.